Hey guys, it's Carly here back at the Herbothecary and me and my happy forage monkeys have been out looking for hawthorn to add to one of our favorite preservation techniques which is fruit leather. So here we have right outside our door hawthorn. Um, we are just coming to the end of September. Normally they suggest that you wait till October, but these ones are so juicy. And as you can hear by the birds, they think they're ready. So we have these beautifully unusually shaped leaves that run um, separately up the stem I guess one leaf then a little bit further another leaf we have these beautiful large red berries and then we have the distinctive will my phone focus nope it won't because it's a bit moist out here but we have the star in the center and they normally have a few pips in them so we are going to harvest these and here we've got the moist flesh and let's just get that out yeah no these are really nice and soft and in this one we have one one seed in the middle but i'm going to harvest a bunch of these and meet you back in the herbatha crew kitchen for um well Hawthorn and apple fruit leather. All right. After See you guys a quick soon. climb in our favorite tree, we are back in the herbathecry kitchen with our hawthorn. Now I'm going to give these a clean up, and as you can see, I also have an abundance of frozen harvests in my freezer. So. I am going to wash and prepare these berries and then I'm going to add them to some of the other fruit. So I had an abundance of apples and pears this year. So I've got them soaking in a bowl of water with either lemon juice or white vinegar. Um, it doesn't really affect the taste, so it's up to you. That will stop them oxidizing and going brown while you prepare all your other ingredients. I decided to add some of the rose hips I've had in the freezer to mine. Um, freezing them serves multiple purposes. It tricks them into thinking they've had their first frost, it makes them easier to work with, and it's a preservation technique. And they're packed full of vitamin C, so a great addition to any fruit leather, well, any process at all. So, you will need a large pot, some either sterilized water or boil your water first and let it cool. You'll need an acetic acid of sorts, so lemon juice, white vinegar. You will need your fruit. And you will need a sieve and time. <laughs> so, let's get started. My apples and thaw um, pears are simmering in lemon juice at the minute, so I'm going to start working on my hawthorn berries. As you can see, I've added half a cup of water to them and I am working them to get all the seeds out. At this stage, I am cutting and preparing my rose hips, which I will add to the mixture and then repeat the mushy mushy process until I get all the goodness out. Um, any pips that I might have left behind or any pulp that I don't exactly want in my finished project I can now work out now so I have all the flesh from the fruit leather so I pop them in and give them a squish too Continue to simmer your bulk fruit on low until it's all soft In my case it's apples and pears but it could be blackberries, blueberries, slowberries, anything you want I now add a little bit of cinnamon because I'd like this one to go with the chili chutney, so I'm going for a savory flavor. This can take a few hours. This was two and a half hours later, and I'm now filtering out the pulp from my hawthorn and my rose hips. 
so it would help if I had a bigger sieve. You can also use cheesecloth, wrap it in and squeeze it all out. Mine was a bit thick so I had to pop it back, add a bit more water and mix it down a bit more. And now I'm just sieving through all the goodness. This is very exciting. <laughs> So mine is apples, pears, hawthorn and rose hips. And we'll just scrape off the bottom and then continue. Don't forget to scrape off the bottom because you will it will stop anything else coming out. It kind of clogs up the holes. So squeeze and scrape. Squeeze and scrape. I probably could have done with mushing mine a bit more. But I've got lots of preserving to do today and I was low on time. So continue this process until you've got as much of the juice out as is coming. And then we're going to give that a little stir in with the rest of our fruit leather. And let the rest of that fruit cook slowly. I've turned my heat down all the way now. After three and a half hours, it's all ready. I popped mine through my food processor and I'm now going to sieve it onto a baking sheet just in case, ooh, anyway, just in case there's any extra pulp in there that my food processor missed. So I've made quite a bit today. Once it's all laid out, it'll probably be about Ooh, three quarters of a centimeter thick and as that fluid is going to reduce down the thicker it is the thicker your roll will be you can make it thinner so I squeeze it through now mine is quite liquidy I probably should have used less lemon juice so I can just shake mine flat on the tray but if it's a bit thicker just use a spatula I've just popped my oven on to its lowest heat and after about five minutes, once I've got this all ready, I'm then going to pop it in the oven and let it sit there as long as it takes to reduce. And we'll make you guys suffer through that and we will come back in a couple of hours and see how the process is going on and then back at the end. So it's an hour and a half later and I managed to sneak in a passion flower tea and make a blackcurrant and apple chutney. And as you see, you come back and it's reduced quite a bit. You can shake it now if it doesn't roll. So we'll pop it back in, wait a couple of hours more and I'll be back. After eight hours in my oven, the other one is not ready. But this is one I added blackberries to and used a little less fluid. And as you can see, it's peeling quite nicely. Um, what you can do is cut it with the paper on and then you can wrap it. You can use damsons, you can use mint, you can use strawberries and apples. Uh, one of my favorite was the one with carrot. This is carrot, mango and apples. I've even put spinach in there at times and broccoli and the kids absolutely love it and it makes it green. Thank you guys for coming back and Stay tuned for another video on how to use your forage.